So hello everybody, welcome back. I hope that you like this video and that you find it helpful somehow. So anyway, grab your coffee and if you wanted to share with you, you will learn it. Links for that down below. And um, it's uh, vacation time. So we are taking uh, a look at my house, maintenance and things like this. We have a list uh, of several things that we are going to do slowly and patiently between my mom and me. Uh, of course, if we need to call a technician, then we gotta call the technician. But um, this is important for you to buy and have in certain places. And uh, this, yes, it looks like that. It looks gross. You can apply this with a brush, a special brush. Or, it, it, by the way, the, the brush should not be like a painting brush. It should be like a plastic brush. And um, if not, do it with gloves or with your hands alone. Uh, this is high quality grease, optimal for automotives, uh, industrial and agricultural uh, machinery. And this one is with graph, graph, graft in it, graft, uh, yeah. Very, that's why it has that color, because it has graphene on it, I think, or something like this. It's very, very, very important that you get one container of this. And then um, this is where you want to get it. Okay, so that is an engine for the garage. I have two garages and therefore I have two of these things. And then um, you want to have the proper tool to open the garage manually, which is through here. And then um, that one, you do not need to open it. I mean, if you're going to move this manually because it is no power or something like this, all you have to do is put the proper tool in here and understand how to uh, gra graduate properly these bends, these, these things that are here into this thing and therefore um, that one is the tricky part and this thing is heavy so uh, and this thing you don't want to have any kids near you because if they put their feet in there and then that thing will uh, cut their feet and things like this that have actually happened to a lot of people because they don't understand where to put this thing so uh, what you want to do when you're going to put this we have it right now off and therefore we put a padlock in it you also want to have this, like I said, with uh, the possibility of you putting a padlock because if there is no power, then anyone can open your thing. Anyone can open your garage. And if there is power, garages are usually not into your security system, into your alarm system, and all kinds of systems. And so you have this thing here, which is the one that will tell the engine to stop and things like that. And then you cut the power because of whatever reason, like a power outage or stuff like this. And you may actually also want to have something here that you press a button and then you cut the power yourself just in case that you're working on it. And then boom, power comes back in or something like this. Um, I have a system over here and uh, the technicians will um, open this thing. And when you have issues with the, with the engine, like trembling and uh, sometimes not moving and things like this you open this thing i'm not going to do it but because i don't uh i don't know how to do it perfectly i have done it a couple of times and i don't know how to do it perfectly my mom has taught me but oh god my mom has not taught me like 40 times quite frankly i'm a slow learner when it comes to doing maintenance because i'm an idiot there is a lot of people like me, so I'm not ashamed for doing that one. And there is a lot of people that will go do, do this once and they will get it. And so I'm not one of them. And therefore, uh, you take the proper tools to handle that one, to handle these. And I will show you the one that I have for this, because this one I do know how to do. Because obviously, if you do not know how to open this thing in case of an emergency, you are screwed. So that one I know how to handle. However, me opening this thing that has electricity on it, and then I'm not sure whether it is on or off and things like this and that. No. Uh, 
Yeah, I have been electrocuted like <laughs> yeah, a couple of times. So, 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 no, <laughs> that's not fun. Um, thank God I didn't die or anything. But oh God, no, seriously, is is no, it is dangerous, and so I'm not doing it. Uh, but the point is, you take this thing out and you apply the grease into one of the one of the parts that moves, and that's it. That's all you do. That one is easy, but like I say, it's me. Therefore, if I put the finger on it and then it gets, you know, stamp on it or, or something like this because I'm not, I am not don't know what I'm doing and I'm not doing it. That's why I told you to get a brush. I am getting the brush and I am not doing this with my fingers or my gloves like somebody else will do it. I will do it with a brush because I do not know what I'm doing. And therefore, um, but it is very important that you have the reason. This is why. Because if you have somebody that knows what they're doing, like a man that uh, likes repairing these things. And then they are visiting your house and then you're like, oh my God, help me out here. You know, it takes less than five minutes, I swear. It, it's just open this thing, put the grease, put it back in. That's it. it. You don't even have to touch the engine or anything like that. But since I do not know how to do it, um, I can't show you. But it is easy. You will find um, that... However, let's say that you need to repair it or, or, or you need to do maintenance because this is not repair. This is just doing maintenance. If you um, have somebody that can help you out but you don't have the grease, that's why you need it in your house all the time. Because if you have the opportunity to have somebody that can help you out, it takes, like I said, it takes less than five minutes. Um, and it is not dangerous or anything like that for somebody who is normal or okay. But I'm an idiot, so I'm not doing it, like I said. Understand your limitations, seriously. However, understand that sometimes when you don't have a choice, then you, have a, you need a system in which even idiots like me or, or like other people can handle it. And so that one in which you, you just put the, the thing in here and then you press it and then you put it like, if you put it that way, it will open. And if you put it like that, it will close. That is it's just... It's, it's, it's like a screw that will show you the tool in a few minutes. And make sure that you understand that this thing has electricity, as you can tell. And make sure that uh, you understand uh, where to turn it off. I have a thing inside my house, and I know where the button to turn the thing off is. And so that is uh, why um, it's easier. We do not have, uh, like the water pump, you want to have a secondary button in this thing. But... I think it's inside this thing. Inside, when you open this thing, you will find the, the button to turn it off and on. I think. Uh, don't get me... Um, don't, don't, um, don't think I'm correct 100% because, like I said, I'm not an expert in this thing. But I'm an expert in asking for help when I need it. And I'm an expert in saying, hey, I can't do it, so please help me out. Uh, just like I have friends who are always saying, hey, I can't teach my kid this thing. I don't understand chemistry. I don't understand English. I don't understand this one. I don't understand that one. And then I pitch in. So understand that some people are better than you. And it's not about that. It's just about you knowing the basics for emergencies. If there is no power, you can't call anyone and you can't count on anyone to open that thing for you. So that thing... Press it that way, yeah, it opens. That way, it closes. That is extremely easy, right? And then you put it back, and once you put it back, you get inside your house again, and you put the tool in, and you lock it again, and you lock it with the padlock. Make sure that you don't have the padlock on if this thing has electricity. This thing does not have electricity right now, and that's why I put the padlock on. If you have the padlock on, as in it's, it's, um, it's locked with the padlock, and this thing has electricity, and somebody presses the button and this thing starts pulling, you will melt this thing and you will damage this thing. And for all I know, you will overheat it and, and, and it may even catch fire. Right? Uh, it's gone because it hasn't had the signal from that magnet over there and so that is a bad idea however since i put the thing in my house that thing does not have power also i plugged it out meaning i turned this thing into the middle meaning even if this thing has electricity it will not uh, 
uh, connect the engine or anything like this because I have it right in the middle. If you have it right in the middle, meaning you can turn it, you can turn it either way, and it's not allowing you to do it anymore, then that is not going to work. So you need to make sure that when you're handling this thing with the tool, you can't turn it more to the left, or you cannot turn it more to the right. And when you're handling this thing about the electricity, understand something very, very, very important. That thing can move infinite to the left. And oh my God, I have had so many friends that accidentally, uh, when they were pushing this thing because they were stronger than they thought or they were not they were they took an impulse and then they, they didn't stop that thing is going to derail and if it derails it's like a train that is derailing you can actually uh, make that thing fall onto you or fall into the ground and and whatever and you can actually uh, get severely injured like like that thing, which is extremely heavy because it's metal, is going to fall on, on you, the kids, or whoever is there. That's why you want to have this, which is like a metal part that will not allow that that um, rounded thing, I forgot the name, uh, to, to move forward. However, if it is too fast, boom, it will actually jump this thing. And if it jumps this thing, like I said, you are in big trouble. That's why you also want to have security uh, things like that one. That one which is attached to the wall, you want to have it in a lot of places so that that way, uh, if it falls uh, for whatever reason, if it derails, it will not fall. And so uh, you seriously want to have a lot of things like that. Uh, that also will hold this thing in place. And you have these things for the handle. And like I said, you have this. A lot, you want to have the garage checked because you want to have the understanding that there is a puller or a lever so that you can handle it. There should be something to lock it just in case there is no power. And you should have this thing. You should have clean these things. You also want to have these things. They also require grease. So sometimes you will have to use it. That one, again, use a brush. Do not use your fingers. There is a lot of people that will go like that with the fingers because they know that this thing is not moving or whatever. But if it moves because you're working with somebody or whatever, let's say that you're moving that and then somebody moves it, boom, and then your fingers are cut. And that's why. <laughs> And like I said, if you're working with somebody who is an idiot or you are the idiot, <laughs> uh, seriously, you want to avoid that one. <laughs> oh my God, uh, no, especially if you're working with kids. And now I will show you the tool that it is, is idiot's proof. Okay, so this is the tool. Now, as you can tell, it has like a, a square hole in it and it's very easy to if it is a rounded thing it might be more difficult to handle it that's why it should be a square because that way you know exactly that it match because it's, it's like a thing about matching and um make sure that this tool is not stored there because otherwise anyone can open that thing you want to store this properly in a place in which Kids cannot, uh, uh, cannot access it. And make sure that you are not handling this thing or opening this thing when you have pets. Pets, like cats and dogs, oh my God. They, when you are trying to open this thing, they will try to go under it or they will be near you and then they will have uh, things. And uh, I have had um, one case in which uh, somebody uh, that I know told me, ah, I accidentally, you know, hit my, my pet. And I was like, yeah, don't open the garage without electricity when you are near kids or near pets. And when you're handling these things, again, make sure that it has no power. There is people that will even test this thing before touching it. They will test it with the multimeter. That's why I have told you before, the multimeter is one of those tools that you seriously want to have in your house. 
it is extremely important because if you're not certain, because let's say that you are working with this thing and there is no power. So you don't know whether it doesn't have power because there is no power in the system or it doesn't have power because you actually cut it. And so that's why I told you, you need a technician and you need somebody that knows what they're doing. It's not as easy, okay?